Hey guys, Lamfai92 here again today with episode 94 of Coin Collector. Before I start talking about the actual footage of this video, first of all, my apologies for not uploading as frequently as usual during the last couple of days. First of all, I'm not at my console at the moment because I'm at my parents' house at the moment. And second of all, I don't have much time either in general because I have an important exam coming up next week's Wednesday. So I'm preparing at the moment a lot for that and so I don't have much more time playing FIFA at the moment. Uh, so my apologies for that, but you just got to stay with me through that time. Anyways, in this episode, I actually traded, um, I started with 50,000 coins. If you remember in the last episode, I actually was on 50,000 coins and then bought, I think, a Hervidas and another card. It might have been Inform Adriano, I'm not quite sure about that. But basically the two players you saw at the beginning of this episode that sold. And in the end of the episode I actually had around 114,000 coins. So I made 64,000 coins profit. I traded 18 players in this episode. So around about um, 3.5k profit on average which is actually pretty good. And once again just wanted to show you in this quick episode of trading that you can actually apply the... A kind of looking for informed players technique if you want to call it like that um, basically for every coin total you have whether it's uh, like 1 million coins um, or 500,000 coins or even 50,000 coins then you basically just start trading one player and you go up the ladder I guess um, once you got some more coins you can trade two players at a time and of course you can increase your profit that way and it all kind of snowballs on and on uh, once you've got more coins, you can of course trade them with three players, with four players, so on and so on. And your profit kind of increases even more through that. So basically it's uh, more or less about, um, first of all, of course, how much effort you put in. And second of all, how much time you've got. Because this technique, uh, if you want to call it a technique, of course, uh, always works. Or it seems to at least always work for me. And what I actually did um, with these players I traded in this episode, um, I actually studied all the time. And then um, when I was at my laptop, uh, most of the time, I just checked every hour um, if my player sold. And if they sold, I quickly looked for another player to get, listed him for an hour. And then after one hour of studying, I would again check my laptop if he sold or not. And so you really don't spend too much time on trading, I guess, like um, maybe up to five minutes uh, for searching for another player. Of course, it depends on... Um, how quickly you find them and how much kind of luck you have um, when searching for them. And so it's really not much time you have to put into this and uh, trading 18 players isn't too much. I think I did this over the past two days, really didn't have much time. So uh, my apologies once again that this episode di didn't um, yeah, come up earlier, I guess. Um, but anyways, pretty nice profit in the end there. And you can just see all the players I traded once again. Um, I think a couple of Philippe Luis in there but uh, because once you um, yeah, kind of have success with trading players it's uh, no shame to go back to them and check their prices and you can also see I um, got a Philippe Luis in the 4-3-3 formation in this episode and I think I sold him for 40,000 coins and then at another time I actually sold one for 38,000 coins so there you can kind of see the fluctuation in the prices even throughout a day's time so um I don't know, it just shows um, that, well, the pri player's prices change, I guess. And uh, if you know the player's prices, of course, you can kind of adapt to that as well and make some profit off that as well. I hope you know what I'm talking about at the moment, kind of rambling on a little bit. Um, but trading some more players here, like the Tremolinas, who usually is a left wing back, of course. Montolivo is always a kind of good player to trade as well, as I mentioned in the special trading episode I did. I think it was episode 76. Because it's usually a center attacking midfielder and a CAM to CM card costs a lot. And he is rather suited to the CM or even CDM spot. Because he hasn't got, I think, the best pace for a center attacking midfielder in my opinion. And not many people use him as a cam in their squads. Um, so anyways, after selling these three players here, Adriano, Montolivo and then Inform Skrittl. As you can see in the top right hand corner right now, I have about 114,000 coins as I said earlier. So very nice profit indeed. And this actually wraps up this very short episode once again. My apologies for not being at a longer episode. But once again, I didn't have much more time. So nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like rating if you did so. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching once again and I will talk to you later.